thousands of refugees who have fled persecution and war are currently stranded in Greece and are unable to proceed in their journey for safety. An independent group of volunteers came together to welcome refugees in the camps of Lesbos and on mainland Greece. This mountain of life jackets is a result of the dangerous crossing that thousands of refugees have made in order to find safety here on this island. Okay, so the life jackets here, the orange ones are mostly used by the Syrians. They're the more expensive, allegedly the safer. Uh, they charge around $100 for the life jackets. Although the migration into Europe from Turkey may have declined, volunteers on the islands of Lesbos have been at the forefront in providing emergency support and continue to prepare for the worst. Uh, we are at the home of the, the legendary British family, the Kempsons. Uh, here in Lesbos, we have their home and their workshop. This is a remarkable family, uh, Philippa and Eric Kempson. Over the last year and a half, they helped over 600,000 refugees, providing hope and giving them all the survival tools necessary after they have come out of the boat uh, from, uh, from Turkey. The Kempson family could not have achieved so much without the support of international and local volunteers. But if it wasn't for the volunteers, we would have lost everyone. And I mean, all, every morning, every night, I mean, one day out there, we had 500 people in the water two kilometers out. Unfortunately, a small minority of extremists on the island have accused the Kempsons for the decline in tourism and have managed to close down the Hope Center, which was set up to provide refugee support. The Karatepe camp is near the main town on Lesbos and has now become the home for many refugee families unable to leave the island. We engaged with some of the children who took a liking to the glitter pens we had bought from a local store. Um, well, this is um, Ruby's work. First, Ruby cleverly wrote her name back to front, but she also wrote it in Arabic too. So then Ruby wrote her name in the right way. Embarrassing Ruby may not be so good for her own self-esteem as she could have some form of dyslexia which may not get noticed while she's out of school. We also met a child who had recently came into the world and she proved to be one of the cutest babies to be seen. Hamida is carrying Ijar in her arms. Ijar is only 13 days old and her mother is so lucky to have such a beautiful baby. Look at her headdress. We went to Lidl, we bought some aid, we distributed here on the outside of the camp. We also managed to get inside through the back entrance, just like we did in Calais and we made a few people here happy. We'll come back tomorrow and do the same thing again. The situation on the mainland is far more dire, with refugees in a stalemate unable to proceed further into Europe and finding it extremely difficult to apply for asylum. The Greek authorities have now cleared their camps near the border with Macedonia and have moved most of the refugees into government-run camps. Whilst we were at the border, we managed to set up a pop-up mobile phone charging station with free internet access. We also managed to join the Friday prayers with the refugees. Praying with the refugees almost felt like praying back home in England, but the reality is very different for those who are stranded here. However, we were fortunate enough to witness a wedding dance taking place as the people of the camp were trying their best to live out their hopes and aspirations. When you grow up, do you want to become a teacher, doctor? A doctor. Dentist. Dentist? Yeah. Oh, mashallah. How about yourself? Me? Everything. Everything? Yeah. Well, but you've got to become something. Visiting Greece and helping in the relief effort has become a vital life experience that should never be forgotten. Our generation has now witnessed the consequences of war right on our doorstep and the situation is likely to get worse before it gets any better. 
What's for sure is that volunteers will continue to support people in need when governments fail or turn a blind eye to this man-made disaster. Please help the Kempton family and all the volunteer groups who are sacrificing their time and efforts to help those who have had to sacrifice everything themselves.